Utter Domination, Part 2. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is, a lot of people, they, they ping and they say, you know, they say something. Um, I haven't figured it out yet, how to, like, say something. Hey, like, look over here. I'm trying to get my team's attention showing, hey, look, man, I'm pushed up far. You know, send some units over here. I got this guy on the ropes. Um, you know, come over here, look at, look at the map. Um, if you look on the other side, the gangster duck has pushed up really far and has a good defensive, uh, position. Um, orange has pushed up more than halfway. If they wanted to, they could have take, taken this hill. Um, but in the middle, we're, we're pushed up further on our side if you uh, see um, so and, and I'm pushed up way here like way up here um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get this guy to come help me I don't know if he sees me or not um, he really doesn't have any Units. I guess he's transitioning to tier two. He has um, a whistler and a rocket launcher, which is good for sieging, but it's not. Uh, if he had some of those fast raiding vehicles, that would probably be the best thing for me right now to help me. But but yeah, I take out this light laser tower. Um, Maybe I should have focused this grunt more. Um, maybe I should have focused this factory more. But ultimately, uh, I don't know how many constructors he had, but um, I'm thinking he probably doesn't have more than two, two or three. So, um, you know, if you can kill a constructor and they only got two, that's devastating. Um, Green hasn't really moved yet. Doo-Doo Brown is not even helping his teammate. I mean... Um, I, like, I don't even see anybody reacting to this. Um, I mean, Doo-Doo Brown's troops are over here. He could have, he could have at least, um put these troops over here and stop my reinforcements and and then red could have probably came over here and cleaned this up if he has uh yeah he's got he's got production um but yeah uh let's see what happens i'm still trying to circle hey guys you know like i'm i'm like I'm deep over here. I'm taking out. I just took out a player, like almost. Like I think he has his commander left, <clears throat> but uh, he's got two grave robbers who aren't even doing anything. I didn't. Um, Shrubs is saying purple. I need your help, bot. Like. N nobody has noticed that I that I'm pushed in over here like um all right i say push my side look at the map um so if they look at the map they will see hey look man i'm, I'm like way the fuck over here <laughs> you know um well look i didn't know that at the same time orange has, has Orange had pushed in down here. Um, I guess this was Gangsta Duck. Um, I guess this is Shubs and Ted Hooker, maybe. And uh, Hooker has a lot of troops, but these are slow moving troops and his troops are on the front line and, and there's nothing really to, to um, at least, now oh, these are thugs.
But anyway, I don't know what that means. But anyway, I got all these troops over here. Nobody's really coming to help me, but at the same time, no one's really coming to help him either. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe Blue. I don't know if Blue saw me or not, but um, when you see something like this, like even though this is the eco player, um, he could just throw down a barracks and, and start spamming some, some ticks or or grunts or something and help help this push um, maybe I don't know I'm still trying to get people's attention like I I'm so far deep pushed in I mean red has has a good economy and he sees this you know and, and he's sending help but um, it's, it's kind of li too little too late kind of um, and alright so this guy's not idle yet but I know at some time he's, he's idle when I could have uh, um, and see, I've not I've not transitioned to tier two yet, even though I have the T two constructor. <clears throat> um, I'm pushing. Doo uh, Doo Brown said GG. Looks like um, Ted Hooker lost his production building, but he still had a standing army out here. Um, Cluster, uh, Fluster Cluck is coming to help me. Um, I, I don't know exactly where to go. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of red has pushed up here now, so um, I don't know if I should. Um, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if I should come in this way. I don't know if I should just keep my forces out, mass my forces out here and get ready to push in. Um, mass them up here. I, I don't know what to do really. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm kind of torn. Maybe the best thing that I could have done is bring my commander and who's right here and bring him up here <coughs> and take over this whole this whole base basically uh, and there's a ton of metal up here as well and at some point soon see I got my this T2 is idle for a while and he could have been over here upgrading um, these and I know I could have been sucking up some of these for metal but Look at my metal. My metal's just pumping. Because, um, I mean, I control so much. I mean, I got two geodes. I got all these extra metals that really are supposed to be on the other player's side. Um, This was kind of dumb. I had to rally point too far forward and they were just kind of getting picked off. So at some point I uh, um, stop them and change my rally point. So I got my rally point right there. See, I, I, I move them back a little bit. But at this point, look at my metal, I'm just overflowing. One guy asked me for metal because I don't know how he saw that I was overflowing, but um, I start sucking up or resin as much. I, I got my commander killed, but no one even went for the metal, so I come, come back and 
Um, get the metal anyway. Um, at some point I switch over just to start making some Lazaruses. Um, I, I like these these Centurions because uh, even even when, once you're tier two because they're so tanky and they got 1600 uh, health which is even more than a hound um, and they they allow you to assault static defenses like like laser towers in particular and blue has started a tick spam um, I don't know if his airplay really accomplished that much um, he's microing those really well against wow I've never seen uh, ticks just destroy like two armies worth of I guess there was only one army but one army of Sheldon's but he almost takes out another army um, and pink did a good job of taking over this base I think if I had to redo it I think you know, I should have moved my commander. I should have the 20 or 30 units I had. I could, would have been enough to secure this spot. Um, I think I gave some hounds to Blue because he was he was pushing. And I was kind of focusing on my economy a little bit. I was trying to get a fusion up and and uh, trying to get some anti-air. Uh, one thing I forgot this game was a. Uh, was an anti nuke, so uh, anti nuke could have easily uh, killed me. But let me just let me just speed the game up a little bit. They've already got like three players that have quit. Uh, Looks like the two players in the middle are the ones that are gone. And Pink is back in it. I mean, I guess someone maybe gave him a constructor or something. I'm not really sure. Look at look at uh, Blue really sucking up this uh, metal. But at some point on my bar, uh, you see how much metal I got? I had. I moved the slider down. I think once I hit T2, I um, moved it back up. But but I, I shared a ton of a ton of metal with people just from all the metal stuff I had. And once you got ticks in your backline, you know it's pretty much GG. Um, Blue's got four rows of ticks streaming in. And the economy to do it. And my economy, even though most of my stuff is not T2, uh, T2 yet almost have a hundred metal income, so not too shabby. But I'm just trying to amass some Lazaruses on the front line. I think I sent them down here to try to res some of this stuff. Um, but yeah, game is game's pretty much over at this point. You got all these ticks streaming in. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, guys.